Hello folks, this is uh, May June 2019, paper 1-2 and the question number is 8. This uh, question is concerned with, uh, uh, we can say dynamics or we can say kinematics or we can even say forces. So it says that uh, the graph shows how a physical quantity varies with time. So the quantity, uh, the first of all, the quantity is positive. The value goes on decreasing to become zero suddenly it turns negative and then the negative value decreases or we can say the overall overall value increases to become zero once again so which event could best be represented by the graph so we have to identify the event which could represent this graph so uh, before doing anything let me just uh, go through choices C and D here it's because uh, uh, here we have to go through every choices and then only uh, decide which one is correct so Let's go for C and D because C and D deals with speed and it is a better, easier to analyze speed rather than any other quantities. So, what they say is, in C it says, the speed of the javelin as it leaves the athlete's hand. So, the javelin goes from the athlete's hand somewhat like this, somewhat like this, somewhat like this. And uh, nowhere that uh, the speed will be zero here. Nowhere can the speed be zero. It will be zero only when, only, only when, it uh, strikes the ground and sinks under the ground which means it can be zero at the last only at the last stage only but here the speed is zero somewhere in the middle stages so this thing should be incorrect then we have uh, the speed of the high jump athlete leaving the ground leaving the ground so uh, v at that time is high yes it's okay then it says that v is zero so um, and v is zero for a considerable amount of time so this is never possible because uh, if even if we if we feel that we say that uh, the high jumper um, jumps over the bar vertically, if the it jumps the bar vertically here, the speed can be zero for a moment only. But here the speed is zero for a considerable uh, moment of time. So this also is incorrect. Now, in choice number A and uh, A and B. So in A uh, we have got acceleration of a firework. So when a firework goes from um, goes from the earth here, rising to maximum height, so initially the velocity is high, velocity decreases, so that means the acceleration also decreases. And uh, and what happens here is, uh, A also decreases, it's okay. And here it says that A is zero here, A is zero. A zero means that uh, the firework should be moving with a uniform speed somewhere. It should be moving with uniform speed somewhere, which is not possible because it moves, then it uh, uh, it uh, uh, then um, uh, falls. First, it moves up, and it falls back. So, uh, the speed is zero only at a moment. That's why the acceleration cannot be zero for a long, long time. Because a zero means velocity constant, and there velocity constant is almost impossible. But in case of choice number B here, what you have is. This is of a skydiver leaving an aircraft. So that means uh, when a skydiver jumps from the plane, uh, initially the velocity increases, but later on, uh, because of the opposing forces, the velocity increases, but uh, the rate will be lesser and lesser, which means that uh, A will be lesser and lesser, and somewhere it gains terminal velocity, which means A will be zero. And this occurs for a considerable amount of time, so that's, that's why. After that, uh, it, it is zero for a considerable amount of time, after that, the parachute opens. Opens means that uh, the opposing force increases uh, drastically, which means negative force increases drastically. So, which means that uh, the acceleration will be negative here, negative here. After that, uh, after the velocity, after the velocity uh, also will is reduced drastically. Opposing force increases. That's why velocity uh, also velocity will also uh, decrease a lot. And after that, uh, the opposing force also decreases, which means the velocity, the decreased velocity will somehow start to uh, start to become uniform, uniform ultimately, which means that uh, the acceleration is again zero. So uh, what happens here is the velocity uniform in two cases, previously before the parachute opens and later uh, after the parachute opens. So V constant A zero, V constant A0. So, so choice number B should be the correct choice. B should be the correct choice.